Hey what's going on guys Ravi here from Ira FX along with Mr. Zebo welcome you to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial so in this video we're going to be learning to make this flashback transition effect or you can also call this a dream transition effect in a very simple and easy way so without any delay let's get started Alright, so I have a couple of videos in my project, so let me drag each one of the video to the right side panel here, so that a sequence is created. So, I'll remove the audio track first, okay. So, this is what I have, this is guy thinking here, and we'll be applying a flashback effect between these two videos. It has to look as if this guy is you know thinking of his childhood when he's cycling so that's the concept of having a transition here you can also apply the same kind of transition if someone's streaming you can usually notice this in some um, fantasy movies or some cartoons so the first thing that we're going to be doing is uh, move to the point where there is, the, there is this transition happening between these two videos and I'll move 20 frames backward 1 2 3 4 all right so at this 20th frame back backward I click on this razor tool here and cut this video at this portion and I'll repeat the same for the second video as well so I'll move 20 frames forward and cut this video exactly here okay and I'll select both these videos and hold alt on my keyboard and drag these two videos to the top just so that they get duplicated and I'll select both of them and right click them and click on this nest so this creates a nested sequence for us and we'll be applying all our effects to this nested sequence you can also do it with adjustment layer but you know you can find some difficulties applying some blur transitions like blur effects onto the adjustment layers so I'll go to the effects panel and simply type in effect called wave warp so you have this wave warp effect in the distort folder and I'll drag this onto our um, nested sequence just like this so now you can see that there's this wave sine wave effect applied like this so we'll be tweaking these values here so the the first thing that I'll do is I'll change the wave type to circle all right and I'll then change the wave height to 20 just so that it, it, it does not look very odd and I'll increase the wave width in such a way that there is enough distance between two waves I'll change this to around 200 okay so now if I start playing the video this is how it's gonna look like cool but we want the wave to travel from bottom left to top right instead of left to right so we'll be changing the direction to you know 30 degrees so that it'll travel from bottom left to top right and this is what we get perfect and the next thing that you can do is increase the speed of the wave I'll change the value of wave speed from 1 to 1.5 and if I start playing this you can see that you know the wave is a bit faster and it looks much better one more thing that you have to do is um, let me show you what ha what is happening right now if I uh, uncheck the bottom most video layer here you can see that the edges are cropping as the wave moves forward so in order to fix that go to the pinning here and change this value from none to all edges so that all the edges are now pinned and you can have uh, this wave applied properly all right so the next thing that we're going to be applying is some blur so from the effects panel type in blur 
and you have this camera blur effect you can also use Gaussian blur but I'm using the camera blur and I'll drag this onto our nested sequence like this but you can see that this blur is pretty too much so I'll go to the camera blur effect and change the percentage of the blur to 10 okay so this looks fine so you can see that there's this smooth dreamy effect applied but you can see that there's this hard you know very hard difference between these two frames here we'll have to smooth this so in order to fix that uh, make sure you're at the first frame of the adjustment layer uh, make sure that the timer is checked so that a keyframe is created at the first frame change the opacity to zero move around three to four frames forward and change the opacity value to um, 100 or I feel uh, 80 would do good because it will blend very nicely with the bottom most video here to give a dreamy effect and I'll also click on the um, keyframe button this diamond button here so that a keyframe is created here and I'll move to the last frame and change the opacity value to zero back again just like this so if I start playing the video this is how it's gonna look like so this is how you apply a dreamy effect to our video or you can also call this a flashback transition effect in a very easy way. Premium Pro is all about creativity so you can tweak these values and make the best out of the effects. I hope you liked this video and if that's the case give us a thumbs up and if you'd like to talk with me regarding visual effects and video editing you can always reach out to me on Instagram at VFXGuyRavi. Mr. Zebo, would you like to add something? Subscribe for more tutorials. Alright, so see you guys next time with another tutorial.